So I've just come across to this old analysis that I drew on cable uh, leading into the Bank of England, height by 50, uh, concerns about the economy. So Sterling is struggling to take off on the back of the event, but according to the technicals, so I'm just going to mark up again. So we've got this impulse correction, and what we're looking for is the continuation. We've had a 38.2 retracement, so nice deep, steady retracement. We've tried to move up, but failed. With that being said, and there's still a long way to go today, however, um, if this candle were to close as it is, I tend to favor a push up um, into the wick tomorrow and a continuation higher. So I would argue that we saw the week's low yesterday and we're yet to see the week's high. So we've got the initial balance between Monday and Tuesday. Tuesday was an inside day. We've driven into shorts. We've driven into, sorry, longs. We drove into the longs. We've driven into shorts. We've squeezed that, but I think there are stops to be had above. And I wouldn't be surprised that this would continue higher. Now, on the flip side, coming down to the hourly but one might argue that this wick has cleared out the in the money shorts and the low hanging fruit in this case rather than a continuation would be below the lows for a fast move into clear out this inefficiency between here and here so a move into 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 maybe even as far as the 126 20s for a hundred pip move could be the uh, could be the scenario so in that respect the key levels to watch are going to be in and around 127 so we'll just pull that to the low which is around about 126 to 90 but i think if we can break if we can break 127 we'll, we'll be chipping away at 127 and a break lower a fast move to 126.50 the round number guarding the 126.20s and all the way to 126 and that could happen um, in, in quite a fast move I would argue breaking out of consolidation it's been here and here 